Um, this is some of our year 11s I'd like you to introduce you to who um, are currently working on their major art project for their portfolios. Um, we're going to have a little conversation. So Ruby, um, why have you chosen to study art as an option? Um, because I really like exploring all the different aspects of different artists because they all have different techniques and I think it's really interesting to include it all in the work and find out which one suits you there. Uh, I feel like it's a way to express yourself and express your beliefs in a really pretty way. Yeah, I like looking at all the different artists and their methods and how they create their pieces and then including that in my work because um, then I can see throughout my um, like workbook all of my different styles and that's nice seeing my improvements. And... What, um, what different materials have you been using because you're all quite very different in your skills and you've all got your different strengths what materials do you like using i've been using acrylics have you acrylic yeah, paints i like um, using acrylics as well because you can get loads of different textures and colors and yeah. it just makes the work look more 3d I'm saying as well, I used to like always use like pencil and I used to like so scale using different things because I thought I messed up, I can grow it out. But now I use pen and I really like it. Yeah, what do you think? What are you working on at the minute, Lily? Um, I'm doing interior design and I've done an art test. I just want to study. Okay, what about you, Alex? Because you have been um, using some different materials. The others mentioned acrylics. And yeah. um, we've had pencil and pen, but actually you've been using graphite, haven't you? Yeah, and you can see we're getting quite messy yeah. um, with your hands. <laughs> yeah. But why, who have you been exploring to uh, give you I the idea of using graphite? I researched a man called Peter Canard, who usually does photo montage, but I decided to draw it in real life. And because it's all in black and white, I feel like um, it was a good opportunity for me to try and work on my charcoal skills. Molly, can you talk about your project that you're working on at the moment? Um, I'm doing In The News at the moment and I was really interested to do this topic because there's a lot of news stories and some people of interest like Donald Trump at the moment because I believe that this is obviously Obama because this um, artist did a whole campaign for him when America was, well, more hope back then rather than now. So okay, lovely. Um, Ruby, what about you? What are you looking at? Um, I've decided to do in the news too, but I've decided to take it on a more personal aspect and what I find more interesting in the news. So I'm really into my shooting and gun dogs, but because of the new lockdown, it's been in the news a lot because it's exempt from the six person rule. Did anybody um, go on any visits last year? We had a visit, didn't we, last year? We went to the art gallery. The art Manchester. gallery. Yeah. Saw Lowry and Leonardo da Vinci. Well, <laughs> we're remembering those names. Um, what have we, we've got some coming up. Can anybody explain what we've got coming up? Um, we've got a trip to the V&A coming up in London where I think we're going to explore a different project we did last year while well, it also links into these projects. We did social commentary last year and news and well, interiors and personal histories and other options all have ties to that and I think we're going to see on the Barford's Tower of Babel there which has links to all these topics so it'll be a really good experience for us. Yeah, we're also going to Embridge um, Water to create our own like ceramic houses in the style of Bombay Bradford's uh, Hatham Babel where we mix individual ceramic houses. So we're having a go at doing that ourselves. Yeah, we're also going to be creating our own stamps as well and yeah. uh, stamping them on some ceramic ware with Embridge Water and seeing that process.